Welcome back to ABM's Next Generation Sequencing video series, where we discuss major concepts in NGS, such as the science behind it and how to work with sequencing data. For all your NGS experimental needs, Applied Biological Materials, or ABM, offers a wide range of affordable services, including whole genome sequencing, RNA sequencing, exome sequencing, and even lane rentals. In our previous video, we introduced you to the concept of NGS, plus the methods and machines available. Here, we will outline the steps needed to prepare samples for sequencing, and the specifics of each sequencing application. We invite you to watch our previous video before starting this one. Before a sample can be sequenced, it must be prepared into a sample library from genomic DNA or total RNA. A library is a collection of randomly sized DNA fragments representing the sample input. However, depending on the type of NGS application, different library preparation steps are taken. There are four types of NGS applications which are considered below. Whole genome sequencing, exome sequencing, RNA sequencing, and methylation sequencing. Whole genome sequencing, or WGS, refers to the sequencing of an organism's entire genome. There are four different library preparation kits for whole genome sequencing. 1. TrueSeq PCR-free Library Preparation Kit, ideal for any genome where there is 1 to 2 micrograms of genomic DNA available. The purpose of this kit is to avoid PCR amplification errors over long distances. Genomic DNA is isolated from the sample and fragmented physically or chemically often creating overhangs. The resultant DNA fragments are then purified using magnetic beads for the desired size of 350 or 550 base pairs. This occurs by incubating specific ratios of magnetic beads with fragmented DNA. Then, the end overhangs are repaired into blunt ends. The three prime ends of the fragments are additionally adenylated with a single base, allowing hybridization to the three prime thymine overhang of sequencing adapters. The fragments are then ligated to the adapters. This ligation step is critical for sequencing, as the adapters will enable the DNA to hybridize to the surface of the sequencing reaction chip. The collection of adapter ligated fragments forms a library, which must be validated before being sequenced. Quantitative validation is done with qPCR, for two reasons. 1. The adapter sequences already contain the primers used in qPCR, allowing quantification only of the adapter ligated fragments. And 2. The library is too small to be quantified fluorometrically, as there was no PCR amplification during preparation. Qualitative validation is done with the Agilent Technologies 2100 Bioanalyzer before optional pooling with other libraries. 2. TrueSeq Nano DNA Library Prep Kit Ideal if only 100 to 200 nanograms of genomic DNA are available. The protocol is almost identical to the TrueSeq PCR-free Library Preparation Kit except for PCR amplification and library validation. Amplification occurs between adapter ligation and library validation steps. This is done to enrich for adapter ligated DNA fragments and increase the concentration of the library for sequencing. Library validation is nearly the same as for the TrueSeq PCR-free library preparation kit. However, the high library concentration, and more importantly, Selective amplification of fragments ligated with correctly oriented adapters allow for fluorometric quantification. 3. Nextera DNA Library Prep Kit Ideal for large, complex genomes, for example, the human genome, and provides a shorter sample preparation time relative to the TrueSeq, PCR-free, and Nano Library Prep Kits. The protocol is similar to the TrueSeq Nano DNA Library Prep Kit, although with a few differences. Unlike the TrueSeq kits, fragmentation and adapter ligation of genomic DNA, also known as tagmentation, occur in the first step. This is done with an enzyme called a transposome, which is a transposase transposon complex. The enzyme is able to make cuts in DNA like a transposase, but also insert a portion of itself in the DNA sequence like a transposon. The next air transposome is unique, as the transposon portion consists of adapter sequences. During tagmentation, the Nextera transposon simultaneously cleaves the DNA molecule and inserts these adapter sequences. There is a cleanup step to remove any remaining transposome bound to the DNA from interfering with later steps. Because DNA fragmentation and tagging occur at the same time, there is no need for DNA fragment end repair 
or adapter ligation preparation. Library quantification is solely done with qubit, while qualitative validation is done with a bioanalyzer. 4. Nextera DNA XT Library Prep Kit, ideal for small genomes, for example bacteria, as well as plasmids and aplicons. The protocol is similar to the Nextera DNA Library Prep Kit, with two exceptions. There's neither post-tagmentation cleanup, nor library quantification. Exome sequencing, or exome seq, is the sequencing of the coding portion of the genome. Currently, this is a more affordable alternative to whole genome sequencing, since exome seq only requires about 2% of the whole genome to be sequenced. Exome seq can be performed in two ways: one, sequencing of only the exons, or two, sequencing of all the exons, introns, which are non-protein coding regions and regulatory regions such as the 5' and 3' untranslated regions, and microRNA sequences. 1. Nextera Rapid Capture Exome Kit, ideal if only the exons are to be analyzed. Like the Nextera DNA Library Prep Kit protocol for whole genome sequencing, the first step is tagmentation of genomic DNA. This is followed by a cleanup step where the transposome is removed to prevent interference in later steps. In the first of three PCR enrichment steps, adapter ligated fragments are amplified to enrich for adapter ligated DNA and to increase library concentration. Sequencing and indexing priming sites are also added. Once amplification is complete, the library is purified from non-amplified fragments with magnetic beads. The library is also quantified fluorometrically to determine if there are enough products. Next is the isolation of exome amplified fragments. This is achieved by hybridizing the exome amplified fragments to biotinylated oligonucleotide probes, which are complementary to the exome. Non-covalent binding of biotinylated sequences with streptovidin beads allows capture, or selection, of the fragments. During these steps, non-specifically bound DNA is removed with washes. The process of hybridization and capture is repeated a second time. Once this is complete, the DNA library is enriched Finally, quantitative validation is done using either qPCR or qubit, while qualitative validation is performed with a bioanalyzer. 2. Nextera Rapid Capture Expanded Exome Kit Ideal for more complete analysis of the exome, including untranslated regions and microRNA binding regions, is desired. The protocol is almost identical to the Nextera Rapid Capture Exome Kit, except for the addition of specific probes and related beads which bind and capture non-protein coding regions. RNA sequencing, or RNA-seq, consists of sequencing the RNA transcripts present in the sample of an organism. The sample preparation required for RNA samples vary depending on the type of RNA. 1. TrueSeq Stranded Total RNA Kit Ideal if analyzing the transcriptome is desired. Ribosomal RNA, or rRNA, is not desired in the total RNA sample library, so it must be depleted by binding them to magnetic beads with sequences complementary to rRNA. After hybridization, the magnetic beads are removed from the solution and the supernatant is used in further preparation steps. The remaining RNA is cleaned, fragmented, and primed in a single step. The first cDNA strand is then synthesized, and the compound actinomycin is added to prevent second strand synthesis while the first strand is made. The RNA template is then degraded to ensure that only the second cDNA strand will be produced in the next synthesis step. During the second cDNA strand synthesis, DUTP nucleotides are used instead of DTTP nucleotides. The purpose is to differentiate between the two strands of DNA after synthesis. The resulting double-stranded DNA is prepared for adapter ligation through adenylation of the 3' end. This allows the cDNA to hybridize with the thymine on the 3' end of the adapters. Once adenylation is complete, adapters are ligated onto the 3' ends of the cDNA and DUTPs are enzymatically removed. Now lacking DUTPs, the fragments are enriched via PCR amplification. The resulting library is validated quantitatively with qPCR and qualitatively with a bioanalyzer before normalization. If necessary, the library can be pooled with others for multiplexing. 
2. TrueSeq Stranded mRNA Kit Ideal if the gene expression profile of a sample is desired. The protocol is identical to the TrueSeq Stranded Total RNA Kit, with the exception of mRNA enrichment instead of rRNA depletion in the first step. 3. TrueSeq Small RNA Kit Ideal if small, non-coding RNAs, for example, microRNA, are to be analyzed. The protocol for this kit is very different from the previous RNA kits due to the omission of RNA depletion and enrichment. The first step consists of sequential blunt-ended adapter ligation, 3' adapter, then 5' adapter, to total RNA. The adapter ligated RNAs are then subject to RT-PCR to enrich for RNAs with adapters in the correct orientation. Products of RT-PCR are run on an agarose gel and the desired products are isolated at 147 and 157 base pairs. The purified library is only validated qualitatively using the bioanalyzer. TrueSeq DNA Methylation Kit Ideal if genome methylation is to be analyzed. The sample library preparation begins with genome fragmentation. Once complete, the fragments are treated with bisulfate to convert non-methylated cytosines into uracils while retaining methylated cytosines. Using random primers containing the 5' adapter sequence at the 5' end, DNA amplification occurs. Next, the 3' adapter tag is ligated. PCR enrichment for the adapter ligated fragments is performed, and if desired, indexing primers for sequencing are added. The enriched library is purified using magnetic beads before quantitative validation of the library with qPCR or a fluorometric method. Qualitative validation is also performed with a bioanalyzer. All of ABM's NGS services include sample preparation. See a full list of our services here. For detailed information on all the sample preparation procedures, including flowcharts and links to appropriate protocols, please view our knowledge base here. Please leave your questions and comments below and we will answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching!